Welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. Well, this week we've got one of the quirkiest watches that I think I've reviewed for a long time on the channel. This is not the first Sega Designs watch I've reviewed on the channel. A few years ago, I got my hands on another interesting titanium watch and was very impressed. This watch is called the U-Series Blue Planet. Not only is this an interesting designed watch, but it's also an award-winning watch as well. It won the GPHG Challenge Award. Extremely impressive considering this is the first time a Chinese brand had ever won a GPHG Award. Its main focus or design style is to do with the environment. It was made in collaboration with the Earth Day organization. Hence the reason why there's a globe in the center of this watch. It's not the orientation of the globe that perhaps more Western countries like England or America would view a globe where America's on the left hand side and then England's in the center and then we move across. This is taken from the perspective of China being the central country on here. So you can see a little bit of Malaysia and Thailand. When you're looking at this globe, that's one of the things that you notice. One of the things I first noticed was where's England on this globe? Even though it looks like quite a complicated watch to tell the time on, it's surprisingly easy. It's surprisingly easy as long as your eyesight is quite good and you're able to see the markings around the two discs the outer disc and the inner disc but before we go into how this watch works let's look at those all important case measurements it's a 46 by 46 mil case which sounds quite large but it actually is very wearable comfortable to wear based on this circular shape with the concave back of the case here you can see it on my 7.2 inch wrist it has a case thickness of only 15 mil 22 millimeter lug width with the strap being recessed into the case so it would be quite hard to get a NATO on here, but the included strap is so comfortable that you will probably keep it on here for as long as you own the watch. The case itself is made of a titanium alloy, which would make you think that it's quite light, but it does have some weight to this watch. I was surprised at actually how heavy the watch is considering it's made of titanium. It's not overly heavy that it's uncomfortable. In fact, it's a very comfortable watch to wear. It doesn't feel like a very cheap titanium watch sometimes does. The movement inside is a Sega designed movement, so it doesn't have any movement markings on it. it has a 40 hour power reserve with an accuracy of minus 15 to plus 30 seconds a day, which is gonna be quite hard to tell unless you put it on a time grapher because the way that this watch tells the time is very unique. I've certainly never seen a watch that tells the time like this. Looking at the dial here, we can see that there is a navigation symbol or a compass symbol on the globe. The globe itself moves and that's what tells you the hour. The navigation symbol points to the outermost track, giving you the hour. So we can see 12 at the top and then as the navigation symbol moves round, that's pointing at the hour. And then the inner ring is telling you the minutes. As long as you orientate yourself to the way of the compass, which is pointing at north, of course. So as long as you head in the direction of north on the dial, you'll be able to tell the time with no problem. Very innovative way of telling the time, I think. Do have to have pretty good eyesight in order to be able to tell the time on this watch because those numbers are quite small. The portions that denote the different continents are embossed on there and electroplated as well. Here on the macro, you can see just how well finished they are. The blue is a gorgeous blue. They said that they've color matched the strap to the dial color it's a little bit off to be fair the strap itself gorgeous bluey gray color the finishing on the numbers on the two rings that tell the time is is silver on black it offers a very high contrast and framed beautifully behind this gorgeous domed sapphire crystal the case in its ufo shape is completely brushed titanium with recessed elements for the watch strap. Through the transparent case back, we can see that Sega design movement. And there's a lot of finishing on this movement. We have finishing on the rotor and also on the movement itself. There's the GPHG logo to tie it into that award it won. The crown is nicely proportioned and easy to grip. Very smooth action when winding the watch. There's of course no loom on this watch. The watch comes in a presentation case. They do make quite the song and dance about it on the website, this box. The way that they've made it 
Not only does it have information about the watch in the front of the box, you also have all the instructions in the back. It essentially looks like a book and the watch is nicely laid out, placed in the middle in a foam section. Unfortunately, once you assemble the watch, you can't put it back in the case. It's a one and done type of box. On the website, they make quite a big deal about the watch box being recycled. And this always makes me feel a bit funny. It did on the last G-Shock I reviewed where that box was also recyclable. Yes, when I'm thinking of disposable things, cans of soft drink, or plastic bottles, I think of those as being recyclable. But a watch box, my first instinct when I'm buying a watch, how important it is to me that the watch box it came in is recyclable because often I'll keep them if I'm selling the watch or just keep them because they are part of the watch. I don't think you need to be overly concerned that the box itself is recyclable because you would imagine that you would want it to live on a lot longer than maybe a can of beer or a plastic bottle that you've put in the recycling bin. Although it does tie in with this theme that they're going for, this environmentally theme, this appreciation for the earth. And when you look at the watch, it's supposed to draw you in to really appreciate all that the earth has to offer and how we really need to protect it as a human race. Very noble cause, of course. But I just think it's quite funny that they really make quite the song and dance on the website about the box itself being recyclable because to me that's not a very important thing maybe it's to some other people but it certainly isn't to me i think this is one of those watches where if you like the look of it and you like the idea of it being an interesting design watch with an interesting time telling complication i think this is a great buy actually very comfortable very wearable it's not just an art piece that you keep in the box and just get out just as a conversation piece it's a very usable and wearable watch currently retails for $1,600 $600, although at the time of filming this, it is on sale $1,199. I think for a uniquely designed, very well made and a GPHG award winning watch, I don't think that's a bad deal at all. Thank you very much for Sega sending me this watch in for review. I'm not sure I'm going to add it to my personal collection, but very appreciative that they sent me this over. If you're interested in more details, I'll leave the link in the description down below. As always, really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time on Casual Watch Reviews.